hey guys welcome back to Misha's Corner today I'll be making my candied bacon cheeseburger and yeah so these this is a look at some of the ingredients the cheese that I'll be using is smoked gouda I have bacon here I have molasses which is what I'm going to use to candy my bacon and I have chipotle mayo pickles the works so yeah let's get started okay so I'm going to start with my bacon I'm about to pop it in the oven at 375 for about 10 minutes and um, during that time I'm going to work on the molasses mixture. I'm also going to start forming my patties, my um, burger patties. I'm not putting much on those burger patties at all. I'm using, I think that's 80-20. I'm only going to put salt and pepper because I already have a lot going on in this burger. In my little bucket I have a couple tablespoons of honey. To that I'm going to add the same amount of um, molasses just like that and I'm also going to add some ancho chili powder in here and that's pretty much it <laughs> stir this up and we're going to start smearing the um, bacon with this this is what my bacon looks like after 10 minutes now you're just going to take your molasses and just smear it on all slices in another five minutes I'm going to flip it over and do the other side bacon is starting to look great already um, I just flipped it over now I'm gonna do the other side really really quick pop it back in the oven for another five to eight minutes to crisp it up and get it nice and golden I'm also gonna bump my oven up to 425 degrees just to get it nice and crisp or even darker <laughs> okay so I have my burgers going in my skillet and I'm just gonna cook them about five four to five minutes on each side and then we're gonna add the cheese and then put it all together and that's it. All right, so I flip my burgers over. Now I'm gonna add my cheese. Like I said earlier, I'm using Gouda, smoked Gouda. But you can use whatever cheese you prefer on your burger. And you can also put as much as you want on your burger. So yeah, so I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna put it all together. Alright, so I lightly toasted my bun. Now I'm going to start with my um, chipotle mayo. You can put as much of that or as little of it as you prefer. This is kind of spicy. This is why I didn't put much on the burger because this mayo is actually pretty good but it's spicy. It's hot. And then I'm going to do lettuce. I'm going to go in here with tomatoes a tomato then I'm gonna go with the burger right on top my charred onions all I did was sear it in a hot screaming hot skillet with some oil salt and pepper that's all I did and then I'm gonna top that with the candy bacon mm. mm. y'all see that bacon I hope y'all can see that <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much it. Simple. This is what my burger looks like. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's so, so pretty. And um, I put the onions on top instead of underneath the bacon. Over here, I fried up some pickles. Instead of putting it on the actual burger, I fried some pickles. You could definitely find this recipe on my website. It will be listed below. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's pretty unique. The bacon is super, super good. I've had it with um, brown sugar before, but I didn't have any. So I said, okay, use molasses. That's what I had, so I did it. And it's super, super delicious. This burger is definitely unique. And I hope y'all give it a try. And tag me if y'all do, and let me know what you think. And I'll see y'all next time on my next video. Okay, bye.